Todoist is one of the most popular task management platforms in the world. And today I want to show you seven ways of how you can leverage its features uh, to get the most out of your day and to make yourself more productive. Let's get started right away. The first tip I can give you is to take advantage of the board view in Todoist. Uh, now the board view was introduced in 2020 and it's a powerful feature that transforms your to-do list or your project uh, into a Kanban board. So this is here on my screen, the YouTube video checklist I use for my YouTube video production and it leverages the uh, Kanban board, which uh, makes it easier for me to see at what stage of the production process I'm in and what I still have to do. And uh, basically it just uh, is generated from the to-do um, like to do list or from the project that you have. You can turn on the board view by going to this little menu up here and then clicking on view as list or um, you know if you have a list um, go in here and then clicking on view as board. And you see that the different sections of your project uh, will then turn into the columns of the board uh, like you see up here. Again, this is really helpful for bigger projects where you kind of want to see the progress and to see where you're at in the project. Um, so I really recommend that you use this one. The next tip is to activate the calendar synchronization. And this is also a big one because uh, it allows you to kind of see all your responsibilities, all your meetings, everything that you have to do in one central place, which is your to-do list and also your calendar. Um, I use this all the time because uh, this way I always see which meetings I have at what time in the day and I have everything that I want to inside of my to-do list which is you know the application that I have running on my PC um, from the day I uh, start working to the day I um, shut down my computer and um, uh, finish work. So uh, it's really great to have all your responsibilities in one place and I'm sure that you'll never forget a meeting again if you have this automation set up. The way you can set this up is by going to the little icon up here, then going to the settings, and then going down to integrations. And here you can actually, you know, set up uh, different integrations, um, but you can also set up uh, your calendar integration. Now this works for, I think for Outlook, uh, as well as Google Calendar, and I think also uh, Apple Calendar, but I I'm not sure about that. But you can just, you know, add your calendar in here, then you'll have to do some synchronization and then you're set up and ready to go. I definitely recommend that you also use the two-way synchronization if possible, so that you can see your to-do list tasks inside of your calendar and also vice so that you can see your like your calendar events inside of Todoist. So you have you know a, a two-way synchronization and both the tools actually have all the relevant information that you need. The next tip I have for you is to automate task creation by using an automation tool like Zapier. Uh, Zapier can help you to automate processes in your business and also your personal life by introducing these um, like automated workflows uh, that just help you get more productive. For example, how I use this is by uh, creating tasks automatically from email. So I have different email accounts and in some email accounts I don't receive too many emails but some of them are really important and so what I do is I just automatically create tasks from these emails inside of Todoist um, so that I don't have to manually check this uh, like these inboxes again and all the time. So I always get the to-dos in my to-do list application and then I know that I have to work on, all, on some of these emails. Another way you could use this is by having a label inside of your email inbox uh, and if you apply that label to an email uh, uh, then the task gets created in Todoist. And uh, if you want to learn more about how this works and how Zapier works, uh, you can check out my uh, like Zapier introduction video here on YouTube. I'll link that in the video card. And also if you want to go into more detail, you could also check out my Zapier 101 course, which is available on Udemy and Skillshare. Next up, we have gamification. And this is also really huge because uh, sometimes you just don't have the motivation to uh, do the work that you have to do. And uh, in Todoist, the gamification is really built into the tool and it's really fun to see how you're actually doing. So uh, you can see this up here in the uh, like karma and productivity menu. Uh, you see how many tasks you have created or like uh, like done on the, the day um, in the week and also like, uh, you know, how you're comparing to different other days. Um, and you can also see this weekly overview and also you can see your karma levels. And um, I recently became a grandmaster in, in Todoist, which was really nice. And Todoist is even sending me a mug, a grandmaster mug because of it. Um, so this is really nice and uh, things like this can, um, you know, help you stay on track uh, and help you get motivated again to uh, get up those karma levels. 
Now an absolute must use feature in Todoist is to use the natural language processing or like uh, the built-in language detection when adding tasks. And um, this also applies for other things like keyboard shortcuts, but I think the language detection is even more important. So let me show you how this works. Um, so, you know, normally if you would add a task, you would like add a task here, um, then you would like assign a task name and you would maybe uh, say you want it to be today or you would go in here and assign some of these labels and things. Uh, but it is a much quicker way to do things like this. Um, for example, first of all, you can press Q to add the quick task or the quick add tasks menu. And then you can add in your tasks using many of the built-in um, like features that, that Todoist have that make it easier for you to type out what you actually mean. For example, um, if I have a task, uh, I could say I want this to be uh, due in three days and then this will be detected by Todoist. Or I could say I want to do uh, this task every Sunday and then it would like detect that as well and assign this task to every Sunday in, in my calendar. Or I could say um, next week and then this will be Monday of next week. So things like this make it really easy for you to, to, to add tasks uh, on the relevant days quickly. Uh, same also works for things like, uh, like priority. For example, you could type in P and then the priority levels zero through uh, four, like one to four, like P1, uh, you could have P2, there's also P3, and then this will assign a priority level to your tasks uh, really quickly. Um, then you can go with the hash symbol to uh, like assign a project. For example, I could just say, uh, I want this to be a Janos Workspace project. Um, you don't even have to click this, so you could also say like just Janos Workspace and then press enter, and then this will add it really quickly. Uh, same also for, for labels using the add symbol like this and you could even assign a person using this these features so there the possibilities there are really endless and um, this makes it really easy to really quickly add tasks that are really specifically uh, you know targeted to a specific date for, added for a specific person and things like this so you can really add rich tasks um, with uh, not much effort using these built-in features. The next tip is to use project templates for projects that you have to do on a recurring basis. Uh, this is something I use as well and it's a really ha helpful feature that saves me lots and lots of time because I don't have to create these kind of project templates uh, every time and every time again. So for example, I use this for my course checklist, uh, also for the YouTube video checklist right here. And um, then I, when I you know, start a new project, I just have to import that template once and then I have all these tasks assigned um, in here and I don't have to recreate them every time. And you could also like even add in information into these different tasks. You could add comments that really describe what you have to do for that task. Uh, you could add files to these tasks. All this stuff can be done uh, using these project templates. Um, now how you create a project template is you first of all create a project and then you go into this menu and click on uh, export as a template. And then when you want to import the template again, you just create a new project and then go in here and then click on import from template and then just choose the file on your PC uh, so you can import the template directly. Uh, again, this really saves a lot of time, especially if you have like an agency business where you have you know, the same types of projects over and over again. Um, for in my case, when I produce YouTube videos and courses, uh, but also many other uh, use cases like quality assurance, uh, code review and all the other things that, uh, that like there are for many or like most of the jobs out there there are uh, certain tasks where this would be really useful to improve the quality of your work and to kind of catch um, problems before you they even appear because you know what you have to do and you don't really forget what uh, like uh, the things that you have to do there are also a lot of pre-made templates for this so you can directly use them if you don't want to create your own templates I will leave the link to this in the description as well so you can check that out if uh, that's something that's interesting to you. All right, so now for the last tip, which is to install Todoist on your phone as well. And this might seem really obvious, and I guess that many of you already have Todoist installed on your phone, but this is really important and um, something that I think is underestimated sometimes because it's really handy to be able to see what you have to do on any given day uh, right on your phone when you're like on the go, or for example, if you uh, want to do something and uh, want to like check off a task while you're doing something else while you're like um, in the city or uh, somewhere else. Uh, or for example, if you use Todoist um, to create uh, like a um, shopping list, if you have to go shopping and then you create your list in Todoist, uh, then this is also really, really useful. 
Another case where I use this is for notifications. So when I have like a certain task or like an event that happens at a certain time, uh, I have uh, like notifications on my phone um, that remind me that the task has to be done at a certain time. Um, and this helps me to uh, yeah, never forget a meeting or something like this, uh, because I always know in advance that the meeting is coming up, uh, even if you know I was doing something else before that and I didn't really remember that I had the meeting at that time. Um, so again, this is really useful and something I can really recommend to everyone. All right, that's it for this video on Todoist tips. I hope you enjoyed some of the tips and there were some things that you maybe didn't use before. I really encourage you to try them out. And if you want to learn more about cool Todoist features and uh, updates in the future, uh, then you can subscribe to my monthly email newsletter, which um, comes out once a month, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, it, uh, it contains like some of the exciting updates to Todoist and other software tools like Notion, Zapier, Elementor and so on. Um, and also other tips and tricks, uh, useful resources and much more. So if that's interesting for you, then you can subscribe to the newsletter. Again, the link will be in the description down below. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did and uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.